We're live. Are we live? We're live. I don't believe you, I don't see it. It always takes a minute. Why do you always say that? <laughs> it's a fucking joke. How dare you joke? Shut the fuck <laughs> <laughs> You know I love you. Uh, Bimbo's here! Bimbo! Yeah, Bimbo. Hi, Rick. Hi, friends. Hello, everybody. No, hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. How's everybody doing? We're doing suicide. Susie! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurt my throat. I shouldn't do that. Yeah. Hi, guys. How is everybody today? How are we doing, people? KH is here. Got a lot of other friends. Oh my god. Susie just says it's sign point Xavi, 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 Xavi. Well, guess what? We're leaving Xavi for last. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see Xavi, you gotta wait for it. Hi, guys. We're also celebrating a successful Last Star Palace Kickstarter. Yay! Yippee. Susie says, no, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta earn it, Susie. Uh, so yeah. Kickstarter's finished. Uh, just a little reminder to everybody, too. If you back to the Kickstarter, uh, please make sure you check and make sure that there's enough money in your bank account. And also go to Kickstarter itself and double check that your payment went through. Because uh, we do have a couple that are still currently pending because they didn't go through all the way. Uh, so... If you don't check it and it takes a lot, like a week to go through, that also delays when the money gets to me, which delays when I can order the physical rewards and start getting all the work done on all the stuff. So uh, make, make sure you you double check because the faster you can make sure your payment goes through, the faster you get those rewards in your hot little hands. Yo. Yeah. But yeah, yay, yeah, yippee. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Brown! 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 Yeah. Thank you, Snow Fox! Snow Fox's congratulations on the success of a. Come on. Successful Kickstarter. <gasps> oh, you be. Snoozy says, Woo! I'm so happy I managed to back even if it wasn't as much as I wanted to back. It, it's okay. It happens. Wait. Professor Shush is here. Where's, 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 there's Verity! How did you miss Verity? I didn't mean to. Verity's icon blended in. Are you in. blind? I am blind. Hi, Verity. Oh, I see. Verity was in between the people screaming about Mirage. That's why I didn't see it. I see. I love you, Verity. I promise I didn't forget about you. How dare you. No. Words are hard. Words are hard. Yes. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know what this means, guys? Callan finally gets paid. True. I'm actually making some money this time. I usually don't. Are you? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's going to be gone. I, 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 Reed is going to take it. Yeah, he might. As the Why did you say it like that? What? Yeah, he might. <laughs> Why did you make me sound so cunty? That's how you said it. It's not my fault. You were literally like, yeah, he might. Yeah, he might. I don't know. No, you're not a noticeable Verity, I promise. Oh, Verity, I shipped out your slink stickers, by the way. They're they're coming. He's coming. <laughs> oh, Lord, he coming. Oh, Lord, he coming. Fear for your life. No, Snoozy's headphones just died. No. No. Everyone's just like, yay, Khaled getting money. No, don't hide the money. I need that. It's, it's gonna help me buy my Japan ticket. That's my big treat. That's my big uh, my big celebration is going to Japan next February. 
slash January slash whatever. Yay, I get paid! Next, next year. Yeah. I do still think it would be, like, legitimately funny to do a stream where we have people, like, <coughs> send money, but they, they get to send money to, to uh, choose who I buy gifts for. So they could, they could send me money for you for gifts, they could send me money for Reed for gifts or for Doof. It'd be really funny. Whose tip jar are you gonna fill up? <laughs> Where he says, oh, I got that confirmation email, Cal, and it's just that unlike some people, I don't instantly call people when I get those emails, eh, Cal? What are you- what? What are you talking about? I don't understand. Oh, unless you're referring to me calling you out in the middle of the server. <laughs> Verity really likes Slink, that's all I'm gonna say. And we love Verity for it. You say that like those that weren't in the last one don't remember. I mean... Yeah. There are some people here that weren't in the last one. No. There's one person. <laughs> Out of the 16 people that are here, I know who wasn't here last time. No. No. Oh, hide the money from Reed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Verity says, call people out is what I meant. Yep, since you called me out literally seconds after I purchased it. So, it's funny. I didn't mean to call you out seconds after you purchased it. I was actually checking my Etsy because I was going to go possibly buy something. And I saw the little... Uh, the shop notification and I was like oh and I thought at first uh that it might have been a message from one of the people who uh bought the very last pre-order body pillows because unfortunately those have been kind of delayed um due to the manufacturer kind of being shit uh so I was like oh no I really hope it's not somebody who's like upset that it took a minute um and so I went to check it and there was Verity's order of two slink stickers and I was like oh Oh, I see. So I didn't I didn't actually know that you had literally just put those orders in. I had no clue. Or did you? I didn't. I promise. You, I think you did. I didn't. I also, everybody did. apparently just got an ad, so I don't know if I've already heard any of this. Verity says, I knew it'd notify you. I'm not dumb unless Slink wants me to be. <laughs> yeah? Uh, I just assumed that at worst it might get brought up in the next stream. I didn't expect to get called out instantly. <laughs> Crystal says, by the way, Callan, I love the stickers and the keychain. They're so cute. Oh, you mean the one for the, uh, the stuff for the Kickstarter or just in general? It's a warning. Read once the bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Susie says, unless Slink wants me to be. That's so real of you, Mary. Huh. <laughs> I mean, considering the fact that one of Slink's favorite people is very stupid, uh, nimble, uh, <laughs> it does kind of work out. This is my child. <laughs> Ah, from Etsy. Okay. Yes. So now Fox says, Professor Shush, do not be ashamed of your love for the Chaos Cat. He is wonderful. I am legitimately delighted that people love him as much as I do, because I, do, I don't talk about him as much, but I do love Slink. Verity says, my roommates, my friends, my parents, my college tutor, if you have any rapport with me and have seen me over the last week, you've uh, at least heard the phrase nine foot tall metal cat thing. You know what's terrifying? He could make himself taller. 
Nine is just where he likes to chill at. Again, those limbs can stretch. And he has impeccable balance because he's a cat. This link deserves more love and appreciation. Yes. Uh, excuse me. See, so this works out because the more people that appreciate Slink, it means uh, Genike fully gets sunny to himself. Good. <laughs> and I get Drake to myself. <laughs> I will fight people for Drake. You know, when we manage to separate them. Uh, Yeah, I know. We will never manage to separate them. What are you talking about? Trying to get Drake away from Sunny is like trying to pull Excalibur out of the stone. Or figuratively or literally. Yeah. <laughs> so he can also make himself shorter. He could. Uh, if he wants to be silly, he can he can pull all of his limbs in and just be, be nubbin cat. He can stretch out to increase his bite range. He can. Snoozy says, man, I wish I could just settle at nine foot tall on any given day, shaking my head. Do it, Snoozy. Just stretch yourself. I gotta hold back from my job. Yeah? <laughs> you, you you made it way too easy, Kelly. Come on. Say it. Say it. No, no. It. I, think, I, I think I'll let Snoozy have a break on no! this stream. No! Okay, type it for me. I need to know now. <laughs> I need to know. You can't just say that and not tell me. I think I think Chad gets it. Tell me. I, I think Chad understands tell what me. I was going to say. Hold on. Oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> the silence is me waiting for the answer, friends. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I did make that too easy. Way uh, too easy. Yeah. Yeah, we know. Susie's so just shaking and quaking in my boots right now, I swear. <laughs> okay, H says, I can't wait to see which Garth the character makes me simp so hard I fall over. <laughs> Verity says, yes, bite range. <laughs> God damn, <laughs> Verity. Bro? Bimbo says, I never thought I would simp for a, a uh, <coughs> tall, chaotic, robotic cat until after G-Night's drawing from the last stream. Yep. I don't know what I unleashed with that drawing, man. Uh, and I'm worried. You unleashed a lot. I am worried. <laughs> also, Jesus Christ, I haven't drawn Mirage in so long. I'm, I'm, fucking, him. I'm fucking him over. It's okay. Oh, Lord. Just give yourself some time. You'll get used to it again. Oh, Lord. Snoozy says, I'm extremely worried. Oh, dear. You know, I'm just going to uh, screenshot what you sent me uh, and show Snoozy privately. Because uh, <laughs> it's fun. Because you're right. There you go. Molly says, they look adorable. Mm. They do. Snoozy says, swiftly moving on. You should simp for Hex until you collapse me things. Oh, but remember, uh, KH likes women. Hex is very gender. Hex is very gorgeous. But he's still got the dingle dangle. So, you know. Susie says, oh god, oh no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Check your message, Susie. Check DM. Okay, it says, I'm sad I missed the last stream. Now I want to know what happened with this Lank cat. Uh, G Knight produced godly art that brought everyone to their knees, apparently. Yeah, Rick says you opened Pandora's box with that Slink drawing. Lord. Snow Fox says, I think the holy water was accidentally replaced with the horny water that day. Yeah. <laughs> Molly just says, Dingle Dangle. <laughs> dingle Dangle Bingle Bungle. Squaw! <laughs> 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 
I don't know why I just had the need to say that. It had nothing. It had nothing to do with what we were talking about. I just, I just, I just had the the ADHD needed to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be this funny. Go on, stop laughing. <laughs> what are you doing, Kelly? It's not funny. Stop laughing. Are you sure you're sliding into the darkness? <laughs> <laughs> I was squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to reading chat. <laughs> I'm trying. They're just telling me to breathe. <laughs> Get to uh, it then. Come on. I'm trying. Calendar.exe stopped working. Hi, <laughs> Doof. Doof says hungry Doof. for that emote. My tummy going crazy. <laughs> That's Doofy. You get back here. Ugh. Oh, I can't breathe. It says 17 minutes in and we're completely off the rails. It's not my fault. I blame that video we watched. Squaw! Squaw! <laughs> uh, so for context, guys, we were watching uh, Purple Cliff. And he was doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke where if uh, his fans were sending him memes. And, if, and they would pop up randomly while he was playing. And if he laughed... He, one of his Pokemon died. Like, it dead. Like, cannot use it anymore. And that was one of the memes that popped up. And I, I laughed so hard. I think I, I had to pause for, like, a long time because I could not stop laughing. Because I just, I wasn't expecting it. Half the memes that had been popping up were just, like, were not funny. Uh, and then that happened. Ugh, Snowfox Whoa. says, I love this Mirage already. <laughs> At their breaking point. <laughs> oh, it was my breaking point. It's their breaking point too, from the looks of it. That's, it's That's what I said. Oh, I thought you said it was my breaking point. I'm sorry, I can't. Oh. No, I said day. Oh. Okay, I'm done. I'm good. I'm done. I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm calm. I'm fine. Oh, everyone says that they're a cutie pie and they love them. Ugh. Cutie patootie. Ugh. <sighs> breathing is nice. I love breathing. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Rarity says, now it is Kallen who is normal and okay. Yeah. Oh, no. What? Snoozy says Mirage is looking so munchable. <laughs> <sighs> Yo, Mirage, can I take a bite? <laughs> <laughs> no. Swat, swat. No. no. <laughs> Screaming, swatting. Oh god! Unfortunately, the the uh, I'm cool, I'm fine comment. Um, it comes from um, a set of YouTubers who I used to watch, um, and a whole bunch of stuff happened between them, and they wound up getting a divorce. And the the guy, the poor guy, was so stressed from the entire situation that he actually lost like a lot of muscle mass. Like he used to. Um, uh, I don't really know if I want to mention them by name, but, like, so she had a, uh, disability, I forget what it was, where, like, her, her body would just, like, sprain itself, or, like, something would come dislocated, um, 
but there was always kind of like some red flags with her and I kind of just ignored it because they made a lot of content that I liked. Um, but they started fighting and she started accusing him of being a narcissist, which he absolutely was not. Like this man, this man considered her his light in the darkness. Like he has a, a, a tattoo that was like the black void on top. And then on the bottom, uh, they, they called each other Ducky and he had a cute, like really pretty, like colored pastel ducky with a umbrella because she was his umbrella in the storm and she was the light in his darkness and like he worked out so that the days that like she couldn't get out of bed he could carry her down the stairs like he was devoted like he loved her uh and then they got a divorce and they actually they disappeared from youtube for a long time and when he came back he was so skinny because when he's stressed he can't eat um, so all that muscle mass was just gone and he just, you could see that he was a broken man and I was so upset about it, but like the, 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 I'm fine, I'm calm, cool, fine, fine, calm, cool, fine. It was, it was like a thing that one of them did in, um, in a video where they were like excited about something and like, I still like the meme, I still think it's funny, but it also like, I do it and then I think of them and I'm like, oh, I'm a tiny bit sad now, but you know, it was still good memories watching things back then. Especially because they were they were Japan vloggers because they lived in Japan, uh, and so I was I was eating that up. Um, he's he is doing better though. Uh, he he actually he has a dog that he gets to go out and do things with. Uh, the dog's name is Fudgy. It's a very cute. I think it's a golden retriever. Um, and so he went on a road trip uh, a few months ago. I believe it was that, or it's been longer than I thought. But uh, he, he they went on a road trip and he went swimming in a lake with his dog. Because that was just the goal. He was—he just wanted to go swimming with his dog, and uh, he's got a, a good relationship with food again. So he's getting to eat lots of good food, and he—he uh, he is doing better. So uh, don't be too worried about him. He's—he's he's doing a, a lot better than he was before. So uh, I'm happy for him for that. But yeah, I'm sorry, Verity's just like goodness gracious, Callan bringing out the melancholy this evening. I went through a thought train, and you guys had to follow me apparently. <laughs> Cherry says, my man was an IRL soliloquy. Poor guy. Yeah, he he's a sweetheart. He absolutely is a sweetheart. And I, I am happy for him that uh, he is doing better now. I think he's living in Spain now. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, he's a great guy. The most is I'm glad he's a whole lot better now. Yeah. Yeah, now I was kind of devastated when I found out all that went down between them. Because I used to, I watched them a lot. And then I kind of like stopped watching them for a while because they had moved back to Canada. And I was like, oh, I'm not really interested in like videos about Canada. Like I loved them. I loved their personalities, but I was totally in it for like the Japan content. So I was like, I'm going to take a break for a while and see if, you know, the, they come back to this later. Uh, and I, I was just like, I'm going to look them up again. And then suddenly it was just like all of this shit had gone down. And I was like, hold up. What? <laughs> the fuck happened yeah exactly it was just like huh so he says how did we manage to get from bonkers joking and cackling to the saddest story i've heard today i'm sorry <laughs> that's just how Callum's way to bring are. down the mood Callum. i didn't mean to so the, the problem is my brain's already moved on so i'm just thinking about my japan trip and i'm just like japan and i'm already like in a better mood <laughs> I was, I was telling uh, Korv earlier, here we go, well, we'll change the subject a little bit to Japan so that I can do, talk about something happier and, and bring you guys back up again. Um, Korv and I have been doing a lot of stuff with our, uh, our character dolls lately, and we actually went to a doll meet yesterday, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I brought my, my doll, Tilly, uh, of like a character that I've had since high school. Uh, <laughs> Verity says, now back to regularly scheduled Moon Bunnies content. Something, uh, something snoozy, zavvy, something, something Verity slang, something, something G-Night Fairy. You, you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Susie says, ah, Callan streams and the stories they contain is truly something to behold. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, it's the ADHD. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we, we went out, we had a lot of fun, I took a lot of photos. Uh, I might share them in the, uh, patreon discord server if you guys are interested in seeing all the tilly photos um it's not the the hair that she's supposed to have yet uh corv did a really good job making her a temporary wig but it was funny because it was windy all day so she just looks like an absolute wild child 
uh, and I was taking photos of her in trees, uh, which was great. But we started talking about um, doing a summer photo shoot in an aquarium. And uh, I was just like, I mean, there is going to be the aquarium that is literally attached to the mall that our hotel is going to be attached to. So we could take them to the aquarium, take our photos, and then take them back to the hotel before we go do anything else. Uh, and so now there are possible plans of taking these little shits to an aquarium uh, and taking photos of, of Tilly trying to climb into aquariums. Because that's what she would do. So yeah. It's been kind of fun getting to reconnect with Tilly again, just like as a whole. I definitely, I put her away for a long time because of uh, Tumblr being very ass hatty towards female characters. I was, I was afraid of people ripping her down, so I didn't, I didn't work with her. Uh, but now I don't have to fear that anymore because I've got you guys and you guys are awesome. I've actually slowly been building a whole story with her now, actually, and uh, I'll, I'll experiment with it. Um, oh yeah, Gina, remember how I told you there was a character that was an asshole that I hadn't named yet? Mm. He has a name now. His name I is Ren. See. Yeah. So we've got Tilly, Ren, and Nora. Yay. But yeah. Things and stuff. Oh, thank you. Bimbo says, oh, you're awesome too. But I'm not as awesome as Knight. Who's fantastic? Uh-uh. Yeah, huh? Shut the fuck Don't you up. not on me. You're amazing. Uh-uh. I'll fight you. Uh -uh. I'll fight you. Uh -uh. Come on, chat. Tell me what you think. Is the uh -uh. G-Knight amazing? Let's go. Come on. Uh -uh. I want full full opinions on G-Knight. Uh -uh. But you're fantastic. Uh -uh. What, are you, what is that supposed to be? <laughs> uh -uh. Bimbo says, you're both awesome. Snoozy says, we all love and appreciate both of you. You're the best folks around. You're both amazing. You guys rock. Oh my god, everyone. There we go. Bimbo's just like, G-Knight is the definition of amazing. Very true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you're fantastic. Rick says, you're both amazing. You guys are so sweet. Verity says, I don't know why my brain did this because Gnight is a sweetheart, but I genuinely thought, remember my nameless asshole character was going to end with, I named him after you. <laughs> 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 it's okay, our brains do things wow. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> MCK says, Gnight is an inspiration to us all. Into the crypt says, Gnight is amazing and so are you, Callan. Thank you. KH uh. says, Gnight draws hips like nobody's business. That is very true. <laughs> I look at G-Knight and go, I want this character to have hips and ass, and he goes, bet. My, uh, special interest. <laughs> Booty. Ass. Yeah. Ass and thighs. That That is your, that is your special interest right there. Listen, people, people are sleeping on thighs and not literally. Yeah. They should be literally sleeping on thighs because they're yes. cozy. Verity says, uh, if the last week of my life has proved anything, I said G Knight is dangerously talented. And Cherry says, coolest guy on the planet. True. You are the coolest guy on the planet. And that's why you you will never get rid of me. You'll have to beat me off with a stick. Like Toby Maguire. Yeah. Snoozy says, yeah, the way G Knight draws hips is delicious. True. Now everyone's like, mmm, <laughs> thigh. Yes. Thighs. I don't need uh, gorgeous lady images with giant titties. I need nice, squishy, soft, like, pillow thighs. Like, let me lay on them and take a nap. Let me squeeze them. Give me good booty and thighs. This is it, guys. Titties are overrated. The titty era is done for. They kind of are, though. Like, that's the thing. I do like titties as well. Uh, but a lot of people who draw, like, sexy lady things, they give them ones that are way too big and way too unrealistic and, 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 you know, as, as a woman at birth, uh, I look at that and all I can think of is, goddamn, her back must hurt. <laughs> wow, she must have scoliosis. I just, I can't, I can't look at it 
and just be like, mm, Uruga, want to squeeze, because all I see is pain. <laughs> so, like, you know, a C? There we go. That, that's, like, that's perfectly big if you want big ones. Maybe a D, I guess, but, like, when they're so big, they're sagging, I'm just kind of like, nah. Nah, give me the thighs. Thighs are better. Yeah, so you see, Give me everything like, from the hips down, yeah, and I'll be much. happy. Yeah. I'll be a very happy man. Yeah. So he says, who cares about chest size when you can have thigh? Exactly. <laughs> Crystal says, you're officially the king of art. Very true. Cherry says, you know what they say, thick thighs save lives. Exactly. Precisely. Susie so says, I'll just sob over here with my scoliosis and barely having a chest. I mean, actually, I think Reed <laughs> also has scoliosis, like a tiny... Tiny bit of scoliosis. It does. Oops. Yeah. I forget exactly where it is in his what back. What a funny guy. It's like it's like one or two of his vertebrae are like off to the side a little bit because they were like, nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> Snowfox says, Callan be fit spitting facts. Yes. So, cause here's here's the thing too. I grew up in in Vegas with a best friend who's almost, almost her entire body mass is her tits. <laughs> like, they're huge. Uh, to the point where people used to call her Cindy Mini McKnockers, and she would punch them because she hated it. Um, and not only do people, like, harass you when you have them, but, like, no, her back hurt all the time. All the time. So, I, yeah. Give me some good thighs. <laughs> Bimbo says, I just got an Addison, as you mentioned, Reed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Frown. Welcome back. Thick thighs save spines, too. True. True, the human spine's kind of fucked. Oh, are you okay, G-Knight? Yeah. It's doing the thing where it paused. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Ah, uh, okay. It's fine. Slight technical difficulties, guys, but it'll, it might be uh, in and out a couple of times, but it'll work. It'll be fine. Oof. Verity says, my only issue is that it hurts when running. I'll take that over scoliosis. True. Oh, that was another thing that uh, Sin used to experience is uh, they would whack her in the face when she would have to do the mile run in, in high school. They Oof. were so big that they would whack her in the face. Oof. Bimbo says, as someone with D-cups, I can relate with the back hurting thing. Yeah. Also, the whole, like, suffocating you while you sleep thing. Snoozy! <laughs> Whoa, Snoozy! <laughs> wow. Verity. Remember that the golden rule. <laughs> Spines are made to be broken. You mean slink at you? Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, I didn't actually show any images of, of Tilly Frown. Uh, I offered to show the images of the dolls in the Patreon server if you guys are interested. I can I can do that right now, honestly. What's a moon bunny stream without technical difficulties? Yeah, it happens. Very true. There we go. Let me see. I don't even know where I would put this. I guess I could put it in... I'll put it in my characters. Uh. Wait, that's... that's hold on. Ellen, are you in this room? Yeah, I mean... Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, to do to do Keep in mind, again, her hair is, like, wild in these photos because the wind would not stop blowing, but, uh... We'll get some Tilly photos in here. Uh, including the one of her climbing into the fountain. And the snoodle, because...
Snowfox says we went from haha to sad to fun to haha again. Spines are for chumps. <laughs> also, calergies. Yeah, always calergies. Oh. Bruh, again? Oh, no. Yeah, she needs a little bit of a different shirt, but this works anyway. Uh, so the, a fun thing about Tilly is uh, she was raised in a circus. So she doesn't really know um, how to properly put outfits together. Uh, if she looks like rainbow vomit, she's happy with it. Uh, she wears all the colors. All of them. Okay, give us a second, guys. It looks like it's the, the tablet's doing a thing. Yay, I'm glad you guys like her. Also, a uh, fun story about, uh, for those of you who were in the Patreon server and you can see the photos, there is a photo in there with a second doll. That's Corv's doll. Uh, that's Artemis. And uh, that photo was taken two, two seconds before disaster. So Tilly's um, hip joints in the doll uh, are a little bit screwy. We have to figure out how to fix them uh, because they like to pop out a little bit. She's wearing a, a bodysuit that keeps her from staining because vinyl dolls stain. Uh, the bodysuit was the only thing holding her hips together at that point. And uh, because her legs were loose, I put her up there. I managed to get her to stay. I took the photo and immediately after I took the photo, a gust of wind went through and blew her down. And actually the only thing that caught her was uh, her leg got tangled up in a vine. Uh, and that's what kept her from falling into the plants. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. Verity says, good old-fashioned bingo card antics this stream. Poetic for celebrating the final Star Palace chapter Kickstarter. True. Brown says, I wanted to say mood, but I dress almost entirely in black. Uh, mood. That, that's a mood. Yes. Oh my god, Susie says, adding to the fictional oversized bazonka criticisms is someone who has, like, a cough of a chest. Be absolute maximum. They get in the way when I'm trying to lay back and draw. How do you work with XL? Yeah, true. <laughs> Ooh, okay. The screen changed a little bit, but it's fine. It's showing off your toothless. That's great. Yeah. Oh no, there's an update. Oh, this is this is phenomenal. Oh no, it's okay. Oh, I'm glad everybody likes Tilly. I should have taken a, a little bit more of a, like photos of her from behind so you can see her little braid. Uh, she is supposed to have basically like um, like short hair, and then she has uh, technically it's called a rat tail. She's got like the long braid in the back. Also, uh, again, for those of you who are in the Patreon server and you can see the photos, there's some photos of Tilly literally climbing into a fountain. Um, that was fun because, again, at that point, her her limbs were very loosey-goosey. And uh, I knelt down and I was like, I really want to take this photo. And they were like, you should. And I was like, okay, well, if you hear me scream, it means I dropped her in the fountain. But here we go. And they were like, hold on, what? And everybody started freaking out because they legitimately thought that she was going to fall into the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> if 
Verity says, what's your favorite Moon Bunny stream, Verity? Uh, I IDK, it was that one where we all ended up sharing our cup sizes. <laughs> it's fine. We're all friends here. That's the thing. I don't allow creepy people in here. So if anyone started being weird, they get banned immediately. Go talk your shit somewhere else, bro. Yeah. So Tilly's hairstyle is based off of two things. Let me actually get those those characters so I can show you guys on stream. Where's Rama? Go. Oh, God damn it! It's a web file. I hate that. Come on, Google. Stop giving me web files. There we go. Okay, so Tilly's hair is based off of two characters from animes that I watched when I was younger. Uh, one when I was way younger, uh, and this was the first one she was based off of, and then the other character kind of got added in, but... Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Uh, so if anyone has ever seen or heard of the anime Ranma One Half... Uh, her hairstyle was very heavily based off of Ranma, and um, I didn't realize when I was younger until I, I got, like, halfway through the manga that uh, Ranma's hair is not actually short. It, it is long. That tiny little braid has all of his and her because, you know, he gets splashed with hot water and turns into a girl. Um... It, that's that's his hair. He has long hair. Uh, but the way that they drew it, it just looks like it's a tiny braid. So I always assumed that he had short hair with a long little braid. So that was how I first drew her hair. And then uh, there was also a little bit of inspiration from... Boop. Oh god, that's huge. Uh, we One day we'll get this in here. Ahiru from Princess Tutu. Um, which is definitely where Tilly's ballet came into play because Tilly does do ballet. Um, and I believe Ahiru's hair is also technically just straight up long, but it looks like a short haircut with a long braid. Uh, so I've also had a lot of trouble over the years figuring out which length of braid I want to give her because I love the long braid from Ahiru, but I also love the short braid from Ranma. So Tilly has gone through many phases where she'll have one or the other. But, uh, her hair is short, and then she has a long braid. Yay! I love Princess Tutu. I was obsessed with uh, that anime for a hot minute there. I remember somehow managing to watch that, uh, on the family computer, uh, way back when I lived in Vegas. I loved that show. I have the full DVD box set of it, actually. And for a little while there, I was trying to uh, collect the Ranma One Half manga, but that was lost in a move. So, fan. But yeah. Brown says web files are great for website optimization and horrible for literally anything else. Exactly. Very true. <laughs> KH says friends who boob together stay together. That is true. <laughs> Susie says, gosh, I completely adore Callan's info dumps. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I want to make sure everything's amusing for you guys while we wait for G-Knight's tablet to finish updating. And I just want to be Updated. like, okay. Update will finalize in 19 seconds. It's been three minutes. Oh, no. It does that. But yeah, you know, Tilly is, is fun. Um, I, she is actually along with Shura, Tilly's actually older, 
uh, is the longest standing character that I've had. I, I made Tilly in middle school, actually. I made sure in high school. I made Tilly in middle school. They are the only two characters from, uh, my high school, middle school days who have, uh, survived the purge. Because I had a lot. I had a lot of characters. Uh, and she's very special to me. Uh, she started out as a Yu-Gi-Oh! GX fan character. <laughs> Uh, as, as weird as that is to admit, I was also very, very into Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, G Knight got to hear Corv and I rambling about that when we were at Cat's house. Uh, let's see. Frown says, aren't we all here to, to hear Khaled info dump and ramble? Isn't it the greatest joy of Moon Bunny streams? <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Yay. Bimbo says, Kelly should definitely be a narrator. Boy, do we have news for you. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I am actually going to be the narrator for Gartha. Because um, part of it was to save on some budget a little bit, uh, but also it's because Reed is playing the main character and Sonny's voice is basically just Reed's voice, but kind of seductive. So it was going to sound weird to have him narrate and then also do the character voice. So I was like, I'll narrate because then we have a good differentiation uh, for some of our friends who have, like, processing issues, basically. I want to make it, it, like, everything. I like making things accessible. Oh my god, everyone's just like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, KH, pet Maya for us. That's your cat, right? I hope it's your cat. It'd be really weird if it was a person. <laughs> pet your friend. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah, that'd be kind of fun, though. If anybody has any questions about Tilly, um, you can ask. And then I can answer, because that, that would be fun. Reed says, nah, Cal and you and Reed sound indistinguishable. Yeah, we're twinsies. For real. Yeah. I'm gonna send that to him. I'm gonna screenshot that and just send it with no context. It's gonna be so good. Remember to pet your friends, folks. <laughs> Is Tilly going to be part of an, uh, the next project after Gartha? Um, I don't know. Uh, there's a chance. Uh, the, the new story that I'm working on with her is is very, very fresh, very new. Uh, so I need a lot of time to think about it. But I am also kind of attached to the characters that I've made to interact with her at this point. Um, it would be very different than everything else uh, that I've done. I could probably do the thing where she does cameos, though. Where she, she kind of like pops up in the background of things. Uh, so I, I love how every project is a very different thing from the other. So we've got our, our teeny tiny bit of horror, but also just kind of slice of life robot thing. And then we've got Gartha, which is a, a fantasy adventure. Um, I admittedly haven't really worked on the space one yet. I, I just, I've been focusing so much on Gartha that I haven't really thought about it. So that one, it, it will be a sci-fi eventually but i also i have one character for that we haven't really talked about or designed any other characters uh and then tilly's thing would be a very anime-esque story <laughs> uh it's it's uh it would be it, i don't even really know it's it's weird to talk about actually uh but yeah yeah, Susie says, I can see it now. Yeah, I'll give her a cameo and things. She proceeds to become one of the main characters in every story. <laughs> Bimbo says, there's a space one? Um, so I, I, a space cowboy. Yes, I have, I have Ruby Macabre, who is a design that I actually bought from, uh, with commercial rights, bought from Grey Doodles over on Instagram. Uh, I could, I could show off Ruby again, probably. I've showed him off before, but I will show him off again. Uh... I honestly would love to have Candace 
stay with us and and voice Ruby. Uh, and also, I I want Candace and everything. I want Candace to at least make cameos. Uh, but uh, it was it, the general idea of it is a cowboy that gets kidnapped and taken up into space and becomes like a space bounty hunter. But again, there's a lot of work that needs to be done there. Uh, there is that's that's it. That's the entire plot. That's all I got. So <laughs> there there needs to be more. Where is he? He's hiding. Hold on. I think he's all the way at the bottom. Ruby, where are you? There he is. I knew it. Whoop. I need to do the thing where I make it smaller because he's huge. Here we go. There's Ruby. Mimos says, I never heard of it before. Yeah, I don't talk about it a lot because, again, I don't have a lot. Uh... Also, Ruby has the cute hair over the eyes, peak character design. So I, I saw I saw this design and I was like, I need him. Let me have him. Uh, here's my money. The kissable and rootin' tootin' little fella. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, he's fun. Uh, I also want him to get a really big, buff, burly uh, alien boyfriend because, yes. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of uh, essentially a team of being Ruby, big, buff, alien boyfriend, uh, a, a really badass, kick-ass, like, female bounty hunter of some kind, and then, you know, every, every story like that needs to have some sort of small... Uh, you know, uh, what's, what's the word? You know how everything always has, like, the cute animal sidekick? I'd like to do a cute robot sidekick. Because robots are yes. So, so yeah, that's that's as much work as I've done on this project. There's not been a lot because I've, I've had a lot of focus on Star Palace. I've had a lot of focus on Gartha. And then, obviously, there's been all the, the shenanigans going on at home uh, that I've been taking care of. So, yeah... True, KH says that's two characters with hidden eyes that Candace is supposed to voice now. So the funny thing is, I designed Cricket first, uh, and then I found Ruby, and I was like, well, I need this character too. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Susie says, I'll take the slaying female. <laughs> It'll be fun when I eventually uh, manage it. So yeah, there's there's lots of things. There's lots of ideas and lots of projects. But uh, Brown says, big buff alien, you say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> Molly says, Cowboy Bebop just popped into my head. I'm sorry, Toonami was childhood. So I binge watched the entire of Cowboy Bebop with Reed. And as much as I love Faye Valentine... Um, they, they do play her as though she's supposed to be the, you know, the bomb femme fatale, like, kick-ass woman, but she admittedly also gets kidnapped a lot, like, a lot, like, she's a damsel in distress a lot, um, so I, I would prefer to have the, the girl basically be the actual, like, best fighter on their team instead. I don't, I don't want a damsel in distress thing with her. It'd be funnier if Ruby was a damsel in distress, honestly. That'd be pretty great. <laughs> so Reed's only response to Verity's comment saying, nah, Callan, you and Reed sound indistinguishable. It's just, huh? <laughs> Verity says, every Candace character must have hidden eyes now. It's been decreed. How's your tablet doing, G-Knight? Is it alive? It's getting there. It's getting there. I see the bar moving slowly. Here, while that happens, let me... Hold on, where is it? Uh. Hello? Oh, that's weird. I can't move the background. Uh, just move it. I'm trying. Come on. It won't move. Come on. Is it this? Oh, 
I am. Hmm. What? Hold on. Let me, uh. Okay, yeah. I'm just dumb. I was moving Baldur's Gate around thinking it was the background. What? Yeah. How did. How? I don't know. I had a moment. I have too many things in here. There we go. I did some house cleaning. Now it's fixed. <laughs> Francis, what's another one of Callan's characters I'll absolutely be an absolute sim for? Uh, mm. Appropriate read response. Yeah. Molly says your tablet needs lightning to hit it so it can be alive. Yeah. Unable to install? What the fuck do you mean? Oh no. How about I beat you shit in? <laughs> There you go. Install now. Well, so yeah. here's the thing, guys. I have the background labeled as background, but I had Baldur's Gate labeled as BG, so I, I was reading it as background, Bruh. and then I realized it was, it was Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. BG. Ballgate. Big. Huh? Ballgate. Huh? You can't say that. Balls and we're in, gate. We're in YouTube. We're in YouTube! <laughs> Snoozy says, will I get my token Dom in the Space Cowboy story? Callan, I need to know. Maybe. Maybe. No. No? That's true, because Snoozy now very much does like Hex, and Hex very much is a Dom. That's all you get, Snoozy. <laughs> Balls and gate, California. <laughs> yeah. Snoozy says, "Do you know you're starving me over here?" Yeah. Hey, you're the one that has to answer my messages, Snoozy. I True. offered you a thing. You're starving yourself. See, I would also really like to see the art of Hex and Snoozy's fable Sona. So, you know, Snoozy, you're also starving me. <laughs> you're starving you us, Snoozy. How I'm dare you? So we, want, we, we, we want to see more of your fable Sona, and you're just not telling us what you want. Uh huh. Snoozy says, Yeah, I'll be satiated with Zabby and Hex. So, uh -huh. yeah, you come on just... then. Mm -hmm. Come on then, Snoozy. After the stream, you must tell us what you want. Hex is hungry. He's waiting. You're keeping him waiting, too. Susie just says, What are you on about? You know. You know you very know. well, Snoozy. Don't play dumb with us. <laughs> you know. Oh my god, this is a, he needs another fucking update. <gasps> oh god. Bro. It's fine. If you're afraid we can stream longer than two hours, uh, I'll just have to pop out for a few minutes and come back. That way yeah. you, you can get your art mojo going. Oh no, Cage forgot to make a fable. Do it. Do it now. Now. Good old fashioned snoozy simp pestering. The natural order has been restored. Oh, don't you think you're free, <laughs> Verity? You are not free. Oh, Snoozy, you know. This, this, is, this is perfect. Kellen, you go after Verity and I'll go after Snoozy. <laughs> but I also like going after Snoozy. We're going to go after both. Well, I can't really go after Verity. I, I don't know shit about Slink. Ah. But see, I can't say stuff about Slink publicly. 
Yeah, but I, I don't know his character either. True. But so I, I, I can't say, like, anything. Oh, let me, let me type to you real quick while, while your thing is updating. This is why I said always us British folk that get bullied. Uh, because you're the easiest to bully and you fluster easiest. <laughs> to protect our Brits. <laughs> nah, y'all don't need protection. There we go. I have typed to G-Knight. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's try this one more time. Ooh. Verity says, we're a very rep repressed and flusterable people, Cal, and stiff upper lip and all that. <laughs> he gonna get you. There we go. Mirage jump scare. Ten. Come on. Thank you. Yay. Time for everybody to make Fable Sonas. Do it. <laughs> Verity says he can get me and I would thank him. We've established this canonically. Yep. True. See, he's a cat, and everyone knows that cats like to be worshipped, and Verity is the top worshipper, so there. The disperser of treats. <laughs> yes, KH says time to make a goth moth, I guess. What? <laughs> the stream ended. Bruh. Aw, Smoothie says, I only realized this until much after I showed everyone my Sona that I drew her with such a massive arm. She's so disproportionate. It's making me upset. Plus, she's still nameless. She is snoth. Uh, I didn't snoth. notice the arms, if, if I'm being fully honest. I was just, like, very distracted by how cute she was. I was distracted by peak character design that I didn't notice, Noosa. So you're good. No, no one noticed. It's fine. No yeah. one minds. <laughs> yeah. She is snoth. I will say, uh, if anyone's having trouble naming Fable Sonas, uh, a lot of fables have either nature-based names or... Uh, is it gonna sound weird, but like items or stuff like that? So like Hex, uh Hex's little sister's name is Bitter. Uh you've got Willow, you've got Aspen, uh Sunny's full name is Suniva, but obviously it's it's the sun, nature-based name. So uh 
if you're having trouble naming a fable or a fable sona uh look up like your favorite plants uh or you know any anything having to do with nature or anything that even could just be you know a word that you like it doesn't have to be a name name uh they're usually not <laughs> Uh, we also have that, that MILF, uh, fable that I made for Gina to stare at. Her name is Maple, because she's a rosy maple moth and I'm unoriginal. <laughs> but it also, it just very much fit her personality. Um, but yeah. Is the stream working? No. Oh, what it, the oh okay. it just died. Uh, actually, what's really fun is Corv made a little fable, and that fable's name is Ash. Snow Fox says, my fable Sona can just be named Snow like my normal Sona. Yeah, that works. Snoozy says, I think it'd be a, a bit uh, too expected of me to suddenly just name her Lavender with her entire blue color scheme. <laughs> See, part of me is just like, Susie, you can name a river. Because she blue. Blue. River. Also, I personally do like the name River. I think it's pretty. Oh my god, Verity. Verity says, cats like two things. To be the center of attention and to destroy their toys. I can offer both. I am silent. Yeah. Whoa. You're, you're not wrong with him, though. You're not wrong. <laughs> Molly says it's Ash on the way to Viridian City. <laughs> Stop. Corbin and I were listening to that song in the car yesterday. Yeah. Snowflock says, uh, time to look up the names of bl uh, blue flowers. Oh, there's also Bluebell. Ooh, is it working? Yay, it works. Let me fix it for the, the group. There we go. They can see. Okay, it says I'm naming my Sona Lyceum and no one can stop me. Is that how you say it? Lyceum? I think so. Oh, Susie says River's really cute. <laughs> Susie also says Gina just saying blue as a joke when I was genuinely considering calling her blue at one point. <laughs> blue. <laughs> I like River as a name, uh, and I also, I have, like, a weird but, like, cool association with it. Uh, there is a show called Firefly, and one of the characters' names is River, and uh, I think that she's a neat character. <laughs> Verity says, I'm never wrong, ever. <laughs> ah, Snowfox says, actually, funny, funnily enough, one of my oldest OCs is named Bluebell. I love bluebells. Like, the actual flowers, I love them. They're so good. <laughs> Name her Bluey, do it. Name her Bluey Frown, no! No, Verity! No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yellow. That's Khaled's favorite color. No, it's not! Yeah, it is. Wait, what are we not bringing up? Hold on, I have to Google this now. Oh, it's a Bushroot reference. I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. I see what you did. I see what you did. I know what you are. I know what you are. Us. Damn it, I'm hungry again. <laughs> it's G-Night's delicious art. Snoozy says, I'm not naming my stone a yellow. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> Snoozy name a river. Or hold on. Is 
You know, really funny is if you named it just another version of sleepy, if you named it like drowsy or something like that. No, Verity says, if you're allowed to put me on blast, Cal, and I'm allowed to reference your moments. That's different. How that's, so? That's different. How so? It's still bullying. It's, <laughs> but it's not simping. Oh god. <laughs> Sorry. I have a Molly mentioned the name Sapphira and all I, I I have a really negative association with the name Sapphira. There was somebody that we uh I think we followed them on YouTube. I don't remember. It was it was somebody that Corbin and I used to follow a long time ago and they were very toxic. That's all I think of when I hear Safara. And you, you've got to say it in that accent because that was how she said it. That is a lie, Verity. Verity says, it's not simping. I do not simp, Callan. I've never simped in my life. That is a fucking lie and you know it. Everybody no, I believe them. It. No. I believe them. No. Yeah. We're all, we're all uh, people of light here. Don't you know that, Callan? No. I am not. I live in the void. Well, you're the exception. We're all, we're, <laughs> we all follow the path of light here. You mean the light that reflects off a of fairy's ass? <laughs> Susie says, I think you've simped personally at Verity. YouTube give me a therapy service ad on Moon Bunny stream because we all need therapy here. Nah. I don't think so. Susie says, I'm just going to have to keep hunting for an appropriate name for my Sona. I cannot decide what word. Hold on. Hold on. I have, I have one thing uh, in defense of the name River, but I have to type it privately. Why privately? Cause. Whoa. What are you doing over there? You know. There we go. Check your messages, Susie! Verity says G8 respects women. He is on my wavelength. I am the devout nun of the server. You can respect women and still be thirsty as fuck. <laughs> Susie says therapy. Pah, I've got Zavi to make out with. <laughs> <laughs> Susie says, okay, guys, my son's name is River, actually. <laughs> <laughs> did you read the what thing? What the fuck did you tell her? Did you, I don't even know if she actually read it yet or not. <laughs> Oh, that I will show just you. The rest of the chat doesn't need it.
Oh, I see. <laughs> I, 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 I figured it was something along those lines. Yeah. It's not as extreme as what I thought you were going to say for that. Oh? What did, you, what did you think I was going to say? Uh -huh. No, you have to Let tell me, tell me now. Me yeah, you gotta tell me <laughs> what did you think I said? So she says, I read it, don't you worry. I mean, I read what? Good. Good. <laughs> is that her official name now, Snoozy? Is it River? Oh my god! <laughs> Tina, not all women do that! I know, but I, I don't know why it sounded like something you'd say. <laughs> Look at me in the fucking eye and tell me that's not something you'd say for the funny. <laughs> you gotta wrap up. It, yeah, damn right I am. <laughs> I, I need a minute. I'll be right back. I need to go get food. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, don't worry, this It's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing. You, don't, you guys don't need to know. You guys don't need to know. <laughs> you guys don't need to know. It's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> so don't, don't worry about it. This is, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> It's nothing bad, it's just dirty. And for some reason he got Callan. <laughs> I'm horrified of the possibility! <laughs> I'm back with food. Susie, you don't Hello. even know. Susie, you don't need to know. Callan <laughs> 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 doesn't sounded... need that information. Callan sounded like she just witnessed you like kill a man. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's something you'd say though. It... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so that's uh, that's Snoozy Sona's name now. It's River, Cannon. So anyway, River. Mhm. Mm nom nom. G Knight's being dirty. Fairy, the cloudfish needs to be cleaned. What? See, I'm not the one who's gonna be cleaning him because I'm just responsible for making him more dirty. I doubt that. Ha ha. There you go. Mm hmm. She says morbidly curious and fearing for my life right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, Susie. Don't even, don't even worry about it. <laughs> so, anyways, Nusi, you should send me some uh, position references that you may want for uh, you know the thing. Oh no no no! I'm gonna do that because Hex is gonna be the one putting her in positions. True. Mm-hmm. Very mm. true. I'm doing it right now. Ha. 
<laughs> I didn't want live photos. Maybe I should wait to do this. There's a bunch <laughs> of stuff that I don't want to look at popping up right now. I'll do it later. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's like, what? Hex is a dom, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Very says we've been here for almost two and a half hours. No, we haven't. We've been here for one and a half hours. Uh and in that time, we've knocked out the bingo card, put the usual suspects on blast for simping, traumatized Khaled, and named Snoozy Soda for improper reasons. <laughs> Replace the holy water with horny water again. That is that is just the water that is here in, in the stream, guys. That's it. Nah. <laughs> I was gone for like five minutes. What did I miss? You know. You know. Oh, uh, nothing. A lot. No, nothing. Everything and nothing all at once. Everything's fine, guys. Everything's a okay. Don't even, don't even worry about it. <laughs> I think we killed Susie, though. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> See. Oh, darn, we did it again. <laughs> you see, you know, another casual reminder that this channel is not meant for children. <laughs> Everything is fine and normal, TM. No foxes, this mirage represents the turmoil within my mortal soul. I mean, lovely drawing. <laughs> it also doesn't help that the um, energy drink I'm drinking right now is another one from Gamer Subs. It's the Blowhole Blast. So, you know, it's um. fitting. Yeah. Blowhole Blast. Not true, Verity. You're not immune. <laughs> Molly says laps at the horny water like a cat. What do you mean there's only holy water here in this household? Horny holy water. No, holy water. Mm -mm -mm. I have the, the holy spray bottle. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the one who filled it up. No, that was me. Because mm -mm. I am a pious man, so I know what I'm doing. Mm -mm. I dumped it out and replaced it when you weren't looking. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Verity says, oh yeah, we established that I keep my sin water in a cat bowl, yeah? Not the cat bowl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, says, I know very firsthand that Verity is not immune to horny water. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, Snoozy. <laughs> Hello, Snoozy. Welcome back. I'm trying to calm down, gave up, not <laughs> got myself a glass of water and choked on it. And I'm now currently trying to bring my temperature down while screaming into a pillow. How are you guys doing? I could make a comment. You made this too easy. What come? Oh. She's screaming oh. into a pillow. Oh, no. Oh, no, Snoozy. Snoozy. You walked into Snoozy. that one. Who's making you scream into a pillow right now? <laughs> Got someone, him. Will, someone will make you scream. I'm telling you that much. It's your choice on which of the two it is. Or both at the same time. They would. Whoa. They would. <laughs> Sissy just, what? <laughs> you did this to yourself. My guess I'm up for more water. You come back here. Eat the bitch. <laughs> Snoozy, we love you. Casual reminder again, guys. We are actually friends with Snoozy outside of the streams. We're not just randomly going after somebody. <laughs> we we have consent to, to bully. We have the 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 friend permission. Yeah. You can see it in my in my credentials. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, says I'm so normal about the cat, you guys. This is not an addiction. I'm not in withdrawal. I'm normal and immune. I tell you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Count, stop. She's already dead. <laughs> you got her. You got her. <laughs> I'd say I'm sorry, but I'm really not. Again, Snoozy made that one too easy. G Knight whips out his license to bully. <laughs> please, <laughs> please, someone, someone do an edit of the Kronk with the license. Make a license to bully Snoozy. <laughs> <laughs> You sure it isn't more horny water? Yeah. <laughs> Just no harm said. I found, I found the holy water. Uh, so here's the thing. All of the holy water in the Moon Bunny's church is horny water. No. Yeah. No. It won't get rid of your demons. It'll amplify them. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Susie says, I describe my internal and external turmoil to you and you make it worse. How could you? It's not my fault. You set yourself up. You made it too easy. You know what I'm like. <laughs> you walked into that one, Susie. To be fair. You've, you've been following my channel for over two years now. You should know. <laughs> <laughs> Does she know? <laughs> Does she know? Parody says, Snoozy, they make it worse because they love you. Very true. We do love you, Snoozy. Exactly. Susie if we I bully you, we love you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. B bullying is our love language. Yeah. True, I bully you night all the time. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Save me. <laughs> There's no saving you. Guys, help. My love is too strong, you can't escape. But you say that like you would actually want to escape fairy. You don't, do you? Hey guys, hey guys, bullying Susie. You make her so sad if you said you didn't want her around anymore. You don't want that. Do you want to make her sad? I don't know. No, I didn't think so. No, no, I didn't think so. See, guys, I don't even have to do the voice right away. I can just do that. No. Yeah. No. Everyone 
saying that there was no uh, help for you, Knight, and Verity says you were lost a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> help. You were lost when you met me. <laughs> <laughs> Verity says there's a Moon Buddies church. Maybe I can be a nun after all. <laughs> it's the church of simping. That's why all the holy water is horny water, because it's a simping church. We don't even have, like, one specific thing that we worship. You you bring in, like, a photo or, you know, like, a figure or something of what you want to worship, and you get to sit there and simp to your heart's content. That is that is the Moon Bunny Church. Bring your own idol. <laughs> Bimbo says the way that g Knight um, starts making incoherent noises every time Fairy's name is mentioned. No. Hmm. Verity says we all know what I'm worshipping. <laughs> mm hmm Do we? Yeah. I don't think we do. Snow Fox says, okay, I've journeyed to the heavens and above to get some holy water, but the angel said there's no amount of water to quench the thirsts of the Moon Buddies Church. Very true. Susie says strolls in with my Zavi body pillows. <laughs> It's about to be me with my Drake body pillows. When I tell you I'm literally about to rearrange my room for this man, hmm. uh, and I might get rid of some furniture, um... My what bed. The fuck? What are you doing? My bed is. It's the thing where, like, the headboard is against the wall and there's nothing on either side of it, which means I have pillows and plush toys that, like, fall off the sides at night. So, what I want to do is turn it so that the side that I don't sleep on is against the wall, which means I have to move shit, like, a lot of shit, uh, so that I can put Drake up against the wall and lay against him and he won't fall off in the middle of the night. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. Yeah. This is how much I love this man. I'm, I'm willing to rearrange my entire room and possibly get rid of a bedside table to fit him in there. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm eating, so, you know. Noises. Verity said, look, I checked the dates. Literally exactly one year ago is what I donated 20 times more than I needed on the Kickstarter with the Slink sticker stretch goal. This was destined to happen to me. It was. You've been worshipping him from the get-go. Yeah. Kitten! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Someone actually got you on stream. <laughs> got her. Uh huh. <laughs> the chat's revenge. Yep. I thought you were gonna make a joke about Drake being too big for your bed. I mean, actual Drake would be. <laughs> Didn't you actually try to get like a life size body pillow, but you couldn't? I did. <laughs> the fucking eight feet tall body pillow. <laughs> I would have paid for it, but no place does it. Mm. <laughs> this is a how do you like it, Callan? Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, mm. I'm just thinking about Drake now, so you know. What? Got her. <laughs> so... Chad, uh, how does revenge taste? Oh, as my as my voice cracks, I need water. <laughs> yeah, how does revenge taste? <laughs> how does revenge taste? I haven't drank water in a while. That's probably it. Drink agua. I, I will try. Do it. I will try. Do it. No. Mm. 
Snow Fox says, we now proceed to bully the bunny. <laughs> to be fair, you guys don't really get me that often. I think it's, it's very rare. I usually get everybody else. Er, uh, Agua. Agua. Found says you're saying you're thirsty, G Knight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh -huh. back. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said nothing. Mm -hmm. I said nothing. Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just drinking my water, and then my my mom brought me eggies. <laughs> eggies. Boiled eggs because I was getting hungry. Hey, G Knight. Oh, mm, what? Mm. oh, yes. Are you a thirsty bitch? Is that a yes? I tell her, maybe. Maybe, that's not an answer. I think it is. I need a yes. Oh, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at you admitting you're thirsty in front of all these people. I just... <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Yep. That is, this is great. I'm gonna take another sip of my, of my water you're now. You're such a good boy. Oh, okay. Um, uh, <laughs> okay. Mm. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. I don't want him to actually die. <laughs> Everyone's like, don't kill him. Uh, Kellen, yeah. I, sw I swallowed a whole chunk of the fucking boiled egg. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how much it was that I swallowed whole without chewing. Oh it just it just went right down. <laughs> it just went down the hatch. <laughs> it's just gonna be vibing in there now, unchewed. <laughs> Gotta be living a great life because I didn't fucking chew it. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> I think that's enough egg for me. No, go ahead, go ahead, eat your egg. I promise. <laughs> I promise I won't I won't do it. I promise. Eat your egg. Okay. Oh my god. Egg. Egg. <laughs> oh <laughs> Molly. I can't read that out loud. Hey, I'm like choking Whoa. again. Oh. Somebody call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. Oh. Susie said, God, that's got me gone for the night. I have not gotten any colder and I'm climbing the walls still. Yeah, because you're thinking about Hex. Hex won't let you get cold. Are you kidding? That boy's gonna keep you hot till you can't move. Jade Knight was simping so hard he swallowed. You heard it here first. Huh? <laughs> he died because of his thirst, but he literally had a water bottle next to him. <laughs> oh boy. Barry, you take that back right now. <laughs> uh, you saying you wouldn't swallow for Sunny? Excuse me. <laughs> what? Excuse me. No, you can't do that. No. <laughs> oh, your stream died. Oh. Oh, well. Stream said that's enough. <laughs> Come on. Stevie says moving on, moving on. <laughs> no. Haha, <laughs> hey guys. Mirage. Mirage. <laughs> Oh, what a uh, what a silly fella. He <laughs> he. Am I right? Totally silly. What a silly silly oh. goober. <laughs> Verity says I will take nothing back, G Knight. You got nothing on me. I'm untouchable. <laughs> you sure about that? Mm -hmm.
Alright. Right away. Susie says, in your own words, do you unite spitters or quitters? No, see, I will, I will get you. <laughs> I, I, I swear to, I swear on God, I will get you. <laughs> Susie, I'll let Verity react to that one. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's just I can't wait for everybody in the streams to have a Callan slash Unite character to sip for so that we can bully them over it. <laughs> Verity. She got you. You gotta admit, Snoozy got you. This is Snoozy's uh, revenge arc. Yep. Oh, it died again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wasn't even only the stream, it was the whole thing. Oh no. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> so I've gotten in the habit of saying bless you for you when you burp just because we just do that. I did it to Korv yesterday and he just kind of slowly looked at me and he was like, I, I burped. And I was like, I, I know. Huh. <laughs> Snoozy says revenge is so scrumptious <laughs> flees pathetically <laughs> to the corner like a little blob no you come back here Hex is gonna get you I could keep going but I don't know how much the chat can actually handle um, what do you mean by that? You know, the things he does. <coughs> oh. Yeah. I also don't know, what, like, at what point I would need to turn it into a not safe for work stream. So, um, by the way, all of you that are in the Patreon Discord server, please do not forget to give us characters to do Smash or Pass to, because we're going to be doing an actual 18 plus Smash or Pass stream. Oh, yeah. So, uh, don't leave it up to Nova. Nova's the only one who's listed things so far. Please, go put Come characters on, in there. We gotta be doing that within the next week, so hurry up. Mm -hmm. The world is not ready for the atrocities that will uh, come out of my mouth. <laughs> I will, I will, I will still have to hold back because I will probably get us banned. Mm-hmm. I don't know, both of us will have to hold back because there's things about both of us that you guys probably don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> also, just remember, if you would like to be there for the 18 or older live stream, your YouTube uh, must be verified. They need to know that you're over 18. Yeah. Okay, H, I made an entire announcement about it. Yes, you're allowed to do that. <laughs> I've been begging you guys to do that. Uh, ooh, absolutely. No, your stream died Bro. again. This news says, but I want to know all the things. <laughs> you want to know all the things? Yeah. Let me pull out the essay. <laughs> <laughs> Writes a hex essay. I think if I did, it would kill Snoozy. So, so Snoozy, you know how Zavi was already a little bit hardcore? Hex is more. Remember what I said last stream? How Hex is literally the sluttiest character I have? I'm not lying. Oh, 
we don't have an actual date for the Smasher Pass stream yet. Um, because we're waiting on more people to put names in there. So we, we want to do it within the next week. But y'all have, have to say stuff in there. Come on. <laughs> Susie says, hey, hey, I was starting to calm down. I was starting to calm down. <laughs> There's no calming down. I told you, Hex is here. She's not lying, Susie. That's true, I did tell Verity some stuff. I wonder if I should type it to Susie privately so everyone can see her freak out. <laughs> That'd be fun. That will definitely get us banned, Cage. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Mm. <laughs> YouTube would not like that. No. Even if it's 18 plus, I think YouTube will still be a little bitch and be like, why are you guys saying that? Yeah, especially in the actual like chat. Oh, Discord, come on. Dump it. There we go. Verity says, yeah, at like one o'clock in the morning, which was like a fever dream I don't regret. Yeah, no, I started telling Verity stuff about Slink. And then I also told Verity a bunch of stuff about Hex, and Verity was so into reading everything that she just wouldn't go to bed. I wonder if I should just drop, like, teeny tiny little nuggets of information about Hex, like, every single stream, and everybody just has to, like, be there to catch it. What you guys think? Would you like that? Oh, excuse me. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Step. <gasps> Step. <sighs> Bimbo just said yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah? Bimbo, do you like the slutty gender moth? Look, Callan, you have to take whatever you can get in the simping business. It was worth losing sleep over. Very true. Hmm. So if y'all want me to do that, uh, tell me what I've already told you. Because I know I've mentioned a couple of things. Like, I know that I've mentioned that he's a dom. Have I mentioned anything else? So I don't just repeat myself. Because I actually can't remember what I've said. <laughs> wow. I forgot. Snow Fox says, to be fair, I think we all like the slutty gender. <laughs> Good, you should. Aw, Snoozy says, Khaled's characters are always worth losing sleep over. It's like when I'd, I'd be like, all right, I'm going to bed, and suddenly, and then suddenly kind of will be like, hey, so about this new scenario that I just pictured. Yeah. The late night ideas. Mm -hmm. I'll lay down to go to bed and I'll be like, hold up, I had an idea. And I'll type it and she'll be like, ooh, and we'll just go back and forth. Yep. For the next, like, hour to two hours, even though we were supposed to be asleep. It happens.
Oh no, Gina, did you stop drawing or did it did it do the thing again? Oh, did it stop? Yeah. Uh. No. Well, KH, you don't like Hex because Hex is a man. You only like female characters, so you don't really have to say that. Susie says, you said not enough, me thinks. <laughs> Parody says, I would dress like Hex if I could pull it off. Outside of the simping agenda, the aesthetic is to die for. Oh, yeah. Hex is very, like, Victorian goth. Vampire goth. Hey, Blitz is here. Oh my god, Susie says, I would kiss Hex if I was permitted. I'm simply a ball of simp and I want to smooch whoever I can get my meds on. Snooty. S Snooty. God. Snooty? <laughs> Snooty. Snooty. <laughs> no, not again. New nickname unlocked. <laughs> Snooty bub. Snooty bug. <laughs> That's the soda's name now, Snooty bug. <laughs> Oh, God. Susie, what do you mean if I was permitted? You know you're permitted. You know. Hex is after you. Come on. Please, not another snoochie situation. <laughs> <laughs> Snooty snoochie. <laughs> it's a very picky snoochie. It's so snooty. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. I'm not to blame. <laughs> Susie says, I did not realize he was actively after me. I was just, Susie, we're talking about you getting art of the two no, of them together. No, see, Susie. I literally offered you to, I offered you to draw your sauna with him. Yeah. It's not, it's not even just an offer. It was literally like, can I draw this? And me over here, like, it was I'll me find asking the permission. Yeah. Susie. The snootiest of snoozy snoochies. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, snoozy. Your voice is not snooty. Your voice is sweetie. <laughs> the, snoo <laughs> the snootiest of snoozy snoochies is going to be written on my grave. <laughs> Here lies the snootiest snoochie. Bub, yes. Yep. Snoozy says, I'm slightly dense and overheating and also not right in the head currently, keyboard mesh. <laughs> Here lies Snoozy. She died as she lived. Simping. Yes. I thought you were just being mean to me. What? No. We wouldn't do that to you. Susie, again, you should know me by now. You know I love talking about pairing stuff. No, see, if I if I offer anyone a free drawing, that is my love language. Yeah.
It's like me buying you gifts. <laughs> Which you should stop because you spent too much money. I can't stop. I see a thing and I go, G Knight would like that, and I get it. Bruh. I can't help it. It's because I love you. <laughs> Deal with it. Mm. You're, you're getting a, a wife collection. <laughs> My shelf is already almost stuffed. I'm gonna get you a binder. My shelf is so full. Cool. The pop, the Pomni took so much fucking space. <laughs> you needed her, her though. <laughs> her thick ass is just sitting up, <laughs> occupy, occupying a corner of the shelf. Yeah. She's so much bigger than I thought she'd be. <laughs> I'm used to like FNAF size plushies, and then she, here comes Pomni like. Triple this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta send you those Melanie cards now. Oh. Yeah. No, I saw them and I looked up the price of them. I sat there for like five minutes trying to get my phone to work because the Wi Fi was shit in there. But I was determined to look the same cards up on the website that I normally buy them on for you. And one of them was like three times cheaper in that store than it was on that website so i was like well here we go so i got that one and the other one was also quite cheap so uh i got i got you two melanie cards oh. i had to <laughs> verity says same Callan. friends and family have like mini interventions for me because i kept spending so much buying special gifts for someone all the time or for everyone all the time Look, okay, again, my love language is gifts, and, and it doesn't have to be, like, a store-bought gift. Like, when G-Knight draws things for me, I, I am, like, overwhelmingly happy. Uh, if I get you a gift and continue buying you gifts, it means I really fucking like you. So, obviously, G-Knight gets, like, the most gifts out of all of my friends. <laughs> that is a lie. What do you mean it's a lie? Well, as of recently, yes, because there's been so much fucking shit of Pokemon that you found. But Reed is up there. Reed is up there, but I have actually gotten you more gifts than I've gotten Reed. Well, shit. <laughs> I've, uh, you, you are actually the one that I've gotten the most gifts for. Uh, I also used to buy a lot of gifts for Korv, but he literally had to make me stop. Uh, and it was for a very similar reason that uh, you keep telling me to stop, uh, which is that he has no space. Uh, so now, whatever gifts I get for Corb are usually uh, food-based. It's stuff that he can eat because it's stuff that doesn't take up space. So he eats it and then it's gone. That's why I will also sometimes want to get you food-based stuff because I recognize that it doesn't take up space. It's not because I don't think you could feed yourself. It's because I get you coffee, you'll drink the coffee, the coffee will go away. It is still a gift that you can enjoy, but it's not going to take up your space. I'm very... the, the, the coffee is sitting there because I guess I'm my guest right <laughs> I know. It's okay. Later. You, later you'll drink it. Also, I don't mind if you share with your fam. I can always Oh, no. That you shit's more. mine. <laughs> 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 no, Ma. This is my coffee. Hiss, hiss. But, yeah. Also, like, you know... For a while there, I was also getting you, like, a lot of gifts because I was trying to make sure that you were getting paid for the Star Palace panels, even if it wasn't with actual money. Because at the beginning, you wouldn't take money. I was trying to pay you, and you refused to take it for, like, a long time. Uh, so I was like, fine, motherfucker, I'm getting you gifts. Hmm. You can't stop me. Aw, oh, Snoozy says, my love language is unfortunately physical affection, which is quite hard to communicate through Discord and chats. Yeah. See, mm. uh, what's funny is uh, physical affection is the lowest thing. I took a, I took a test on uh, that shit. That's the lowest thing for me. Um, but that's also because I don't really like being touched by, like, random fucking people. Um, I have to know you. And be really comfortable with you before I will allow you to touch me. <laughs> Trip to the UK. Yeah. And then, you know, there's G-Knight who I, I knocked over 
throwing myself at him when we met face to face. Reed just stood there like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. I think I almost knocked over Doof the first time I saw her face to face too. And then Reed I picked up and walked away with. <laughs> he was like, put me down, I have a headache. And I'm like, shut up, motherfucker. And I carried him and then I put him down. Verity says, Gina, I'm surprised you haven't polished off the coffee easily, given how thirsty you always are. Wow. <laughs> what does that mean? You don't know what you're talking about. Well, yeah. Also, admittedly, like, you're super easy to shop for, too, which is a little dangerous for my wallet, because I'll see things and I'll be like, ooh, g night, and I'll buy it. Um, huh. With Reed, there's a, a very few, like, particular things that I, I... He's not hard to shop for if I'm actively looking for a gift, but it's not usually something that I find, like, out in the wild. Hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, Snoozy says, oh, gosh, I also do not like being touched by random people, but I can't refuse a hug from a friend. It's more like I give others hugs. Someone tries to touch me and I defense stance go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, it's the same Snoozy, same. Uh, it, It's instead I go for the message you so much it starts getting annoying technique. I do that. I definitely do that. That's how Reed and I even became friends. Is I started just messaging him every single day and talking to him. And he, he basically admitted that, like, he doesn't really go out of his way to talk to people. So uh, he was actually, like, happy that I did that because that's what made us become friends is that I wouldn't stop talking to him. <laughs> Had to be annoying to befriend him. Yeah, pretty much. And then you and I just started sending each other shit on Instagram for... We did it for, like, I think, like, a good... Anywhere between three to six months before we started, like, really, really talking. We were just sending each other shit on Instagram every day, back and forth. Six months? It wasn't that long. How long? It was, like, it was like at least two months, right? At, le at least two months, yeah. Yeah. It's like, two, three. It was a long yeah, at time. Least, at, at least two, it was, like, very just casual. Like, it just sending a thing and then just a very small talk yeah we mainly interacted on your insta streams during yeah. that time until we until i was like oh yeah i should get this scored at you <laughs> yeah It was also funny, too, because at that point, I, I started, uh, not at that point, but, like, a little later, I started hanging out with, like, Reed in Discord, like, calls. Uh, and the only person I had actually done that with before that, well, it wasn't even Discord calls, it was it was actual phone calls, was Mango. Uh, so it was kind of weird. I was, I was getting used to, like, calling people on Discord and just hanging out all day. And uh, it, it, that, at that point, you were like, I can do that? I can ask you to hang out? <laughs> And then he started asking, and we started hanging out. Oh, Snoozy! Snoozy says hugs are like the only thing I'm good at. LMAO intense sobbing. Snoozy, when I meet you, I'm going to crush your, your rib cage, and I'm going to pick you up, and I'm going to walk away with you. Just saying. I, I do really want to play on a trip to the UK. I, I have to go to Alton Towers, and while I'm there, I'll just meet up with everybody. Oh, see, I can't do that, KH. KH has one way to friend me is just by sending me a random friend request like Bimbo did, LMAO. Disclaimer, this is not a certified technique for friendship. See, Bimbo scared the shit out of me. 
because uh, she joined the Discord server and I didn't realize it was her because it had a different name on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so I just like randomly got a friend request from someone right after they joined and I was like, who is this? Who is this? I thought it was, I thought it was a bot. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Big oh, Moment. I, I thought it was a bot. I was like, who is this? And then I, and then I saw on, on the Patreon Discord, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it, it. <laughs> it took me a minute. I didn't know it was you until you filled out your thing. And I was just like, who is this? What is it? And I started like panicking. I don't like when people just randomly send me a friend request. If I don't know them, that actually freaks me out. Uh, so once I realized it was Bimbo, I was fine. I was like, oh, okay. This, yeah, except we're cool. It's it's great. Uh, but before that, I was like, who is this? Verity says, well, time to move to Alton Towers, I guess. <laughs> oh, you're okay, Bimbo. You're fine. It's not your fault. It was not a bot. It was a Bimbo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I know. When people come up to me on, like, Twitter or Instagram, and they just, they're just like, hi, how are you today? I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> I, I, I will fully admit I ignore those messages. If I don't know you, if we haven't spoken, even in, like, you know, uh, like, through the streams here, like, if I don't know who you are and you just start trying to message me, I will not respond because I will freak out. <laughs> Yeah, no, I got a message on Twitter the other day. It was like, you got a minute? Uh, <laughs> I just saw it. I was like, ignore. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, bro, stay to your, stay to your, what, what the fuck you want with me? Don't just say, like, <laughs> tell me what you want. It's definitely, um, I didn't used to understand when people said this. Now I do. Uh, when people are like, I don't like small talk. I understand that now because if you just come up to me, and I don't know you. And you're like, hi, how are you? I just, like, who are you? What do you want? Like, just literally tell me why you're here. Like, yeah. you, like I don't, what, what do you want? What do you want with me? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, Bimbo says casually tries to befriend everyone on the server. We love you, Bimbo. You're good. Oof. Susie says, time to take the 25-minute drive to Alton Tower, I supposed. And then Verity says, 25 minutes? Try three hours. Oh, you live far away. Oh. Oh. Uh. Excuse me. Snoozy's close, though. Snoozy, look at you, man. Riss. Riss. <laughs> Bimbo, you're awesome. We love you. You are, Bimbo. Aw. And this is start sobbing. <laughs> oh, you're not, Snoozy. Snoozy says, oh god, I get so petrified at seeming like one of those people when I want to start a conversation talking to people. Like, I cannot start a conversation. Because I'll be like, oh god, I'm so weird. No, you're not weird. If you're If you're ever nervous... Again, like, all, all you have to do is just be very upfront, especially because, like, and, and, you know, here's the thing. I realized why I'm like this, too, uh, is, is again, it's, it's autism. Uh, autism. Um, I'm not good at having to, I, I can, I've learned how, but I don't like having to do it where you just kind of beat around the bush and you have to play a game with someone before you can just outright ask them a question. Like, my family is like that. I've, I've gone to my mom, not recently, obviously, because I don't talk to her anymore, but I've gone to my mom and, like, straight up asked what I needed to ask, and she was just like, hi, I'm fine, how are you? And it's just like, I, why is this considered rude? I needed to ask you a question, I just asked you the question, can you just answer it instead of getting angry with me? So I think that's I think that's what it is. It's I just I don't like having to play a game with people. Like if you need something, just ask for it. Because otherwise you just waste a bunch of time. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to talk to somebody, just be like, hey, I thought you were cool. Let's talk. It's that. 
Oh no, Meredith says, I live in the absolute caldera of nowhere when it comes to the UK. We have nothing uh, appealing within driving distance aside from Cardiff. Damn. Oh. Okay, this is going to sound really uneducated of me, but it's going to be faster for me to just ask you and get your honest opinion on it rather than looking it up. What exactly is Cardiff? Is it a city? Is it just like a really popular city? I've heard the name. I've heard the name many times in like British dramas and stuff like that that my mom used to watch when I was growing up because my mom was obsessed with BBC America. Uh, is, it, is it a city? Oh, there goes the smile. Verity says, I'm, ty uh, I'm terrified of messaging people and asking about it and slash four things invariably uh, makes me viscerally parasitic. You're not. You're not. Bimbo Bunny says, exactly. I completely agree with you, Callan. Ah, so here's the thing. I think I think it's better to just be blunt and just ask or just get to the point of a combo instead of just have having to initialize a conversation and then having the other person realize that oh they just they just asked me like how I was doing and they, they just start a small talk to ask me a thing it's like oh well yeah that kind of stinks more than just asking what what do you want what do you need it does because then it makes it feel like when they ask you how you were that it was obligatory rather than like legitimately yeah because they care uh also uh Verity said Cardiff is the capital of Wales okay cool thank you Ah, oh, I'll, I'll say it was a core location in Doctor Who like 20 years ago. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That makes sense. That, that also explains why I heard a lot because we watched a lot of Doctor Who. Uh, Susie says, oh, he's such a cutie. But yeah, no, when... When you have someone who legitimately is just like, you know, uh, morning, you know, how you do it, like, like Gina and I do... I'll ask him how he is every single day, and it's because I genuinely care about how he's doing. Sometimes I'll ask him multiple times a day because, you know, we're both kind of sickly right now. Uh, and it's kind of like, it's it's literally like a check-in of like, how are you feeling? Like, what's up? Like, how you doing? But like, if we need something of each other, we'll literally just shoot a message over and be like, hey, XYZ, cool, here's the information you asked for. Uh, and I do that with, with like, Corv and, and read all the time too where I'll have a question and I'll just just send them the question because otherwise you also again it's it's disingenuous but you also just waste a bunch of time having to get through the conversation first and if it's something really important that you need to ask like uh, just sitting there having to, 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 to have a conversation with someone for 20-30 minutes before you can ask your question just I can't do it Susie says sobs and screams for days no, that's the thing. Sometimes I genuinely just think I want to talk to this person more because they're awesome and I feel bad that they have to message me first and I have and have nothing to ask. See, here's the thing, Snoozy. If you just... You, you don't even have to have something to ask. Like, I've done this before where... Um, I, I do this to both Jeanne and to, and to Reed. Uh, usually mostly with Reed messaging because I'm on calls with Jeanne constantly. But uh, I'll just be like, Hey! You! you're amazing and I'll just I'll, you know I'll, I'll compliment them because I genuinely love them and uh then that'll be like no you no you we started a little no you battle but then we'll start talking about other stuff so you can you can just say something to someone that you talk to and they will notice that you've messaged them first and that will make them feel better and special like I I can't tell you how often I've been in friendships where I've had to be the person who messages first all the time and it's exhausting. Uh, and it does kind of... And I'm not saying that you do this to, snooze, to people, Snoozy. I'm just saying in general. When you're the friend who has to message everyone first and you have to check on everyone first, it feels like other people don't care about you as much as you care about them. So to have someone message you first, even if it's something small and silly like that, it means the fucking world. Uh, like, I I just get happy when Gina sends me silly cat videos. <laughs> like... <laughs> It, it does mean a lot when someone thinks of you enough to send you a thing or to talk to you, like, at all. Because if you're the only one doing the messaging, oh, it just, it, uh, it kind of sucks. Not just kind of, it sucks. 
Yeah, Molly says, I don't like the small talk uh, because sometimes I will forget what I wanted to ask by the time the niceties are done. Yeah. Oh, Verity says, I, I literally came back from a weekend vacation today to a seaside town four hours away. My home is painfully out of the way. Oof. I'm Oof. sorry. Brown says, most of the time I don't message people because I get so anxious about being annoying or talking to people who don't want to talk to me and I can't re uh, I can't respond when they text. Me and uh, so Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. And this is the thing I'm going to tell all of you because it is a thing that uh, a lot of my friends have had trouble with in the past, like certain friends. And also it's a thing that I see a lot of people struggling with in general. You don't have to text back right away. That's the whole point of text is that you don't have to sit there and be having a back and forth conversation in real time. Is it nice when you can do that? Yes, it's fantastic. But if someone's busy, like it's okay if you message them and they, you know, you have to wait a bit for them to message you back or vice versa. It's fine. Uh, I, I would rather someone send me a message, uh, and I respond to them and they don't respond back right away, then them never sending me a message because they still, even if they take a while to respond, they're still responding to me. And therefore that shows that they care. You know what I mean? Like you don't, you don't have to drop everything to talk to someone in text if you don't have the time to do so. That's the whole point of text. Yeah. And also, unfortunately, the internet has made a big meme about people that reply instantly to messages, like being desperate and whatnot. And it's like, bro, it's not that people are desperate if someone answers a message like the moment they get it. It's literally just that they either have nothing else to do, which is not something to be ashamed of either. Yeah. And, or they just really like the person they're talking to. Yeah. Or they're very anxious. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, like... You're, it's Callan teaching me more social skills than my high school autism class ever did. Well, because that's the thing. Yeah. I, I see this a lot. Even with neurotypical people, they seem to think that they have to drop everything and respond to their texts right away. But that also interferes with what you're doing IRL. So, like, you know, if you're hanging out with your friends, and, and I've had someone do this to me before, and it sucks. I don't like it. It, it hurts. It actually hurts. If you have made plans with somebody and you're supposed to be spending the day together and they tell let's just say their significant other that they're out with you and therefore won't be able to respond to text very much and they consistently keep stopping what they're doing to respond to texts as soon as they get them and they stop paying attention to you because they're paying more attention to their texts, like that that gets in the way of your actual social life with whoever you're spending time with face to face, whether it's a friend or a family member or even a partner, like you, you never know. Um, the whole point of text is that it's there when you can. It's there when you have the ability to get to it. It's not something that needs to have the world dropped for it. So, you know, it's it's okay if like you can't respond to someone's text right away it's totally okay if they get mad at you they're a toxic friend i'm gonna say that flat out if someone gets mad at you for not being able to respond right away uh especially if you've told them that you're busy that's on them they're just being a shit friend <laughs> yeah <laughs> Susie says going completely off topic that zavi is so arf 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 bark bark woof woof <laughs> Yeah, you're okay, Bimbo. Bimbo says I often take time to reply because I get so anxious. Yeah, that happens too. It's totally fine. Or a, a thing that I'll do is that I'll, I'll see a message pop up and I'll be like, I'll reply to it in a minute. I'm doing something I'll forget about it accidentally and I feel terrible. <laughs> you're okay. The only time I get worried about you is when I know your stomach's not doing good and then uh, it's just because of the, the, the hospital thing. Otherwise... You know, I don't take it personally when you don't respond right away. Do I like it when we get to talk back and forth quickly? Yeah, but is it a requirement to be my friend? No.
Yeah, Rick says, I'm someone who always responds as fast as I can, but if I'm busy, I'm going to text them when I have the time. Yeah, that's a better way of looking at it. Yeah. Trust Newsy to bring us back to the sipping. True. Snow Fox says, thanks for the advice, Callan. Yeah, you're good. That's the thing. I also... Oh, what? I said absolutely. Yeah. I also recognize that, like, so, so I can respond to my friends very quickly because I'm currently, you know, not in a workplace where I can't do that. Uh, and we will sometimes play with Reed. We're never serious about it, but we'll play with Reed of like, hey, where are you? Why aren't you answering? We know you're not at work because, you know, it, Reed lives at home. But we also know that Reed's busy. Reed has work to do. So, like, we never actually are, are mean about it. It's always a joke. Um, but, like, you know, if I have a friend who I know is at work or out doing things, you know, like when Gina goes out to dinner with his parents or something, like, I'll, I'll be like, cool, I'm probably not going to hear from you for the next, like, two hours because you're with your family. <laughs> like, I never hold it against anybody. Just because I have the ability to text right away doesn't mean somebody else does. I think that's yeah. the thing that, like more people need to realize in general also is like everybody has different abilities to do things exactly <laughs> bimbo says the world would be a better place if more people took Callan's advice <laughs> thank you <laughs> <No>. <laughs> i try <laughs> so he says what me simp i don't stoop low uh so low so let me check on decorum And also give me, give me just two seconds. I'm going to put my food in the fridge because I'm also trying to make sure that I don't eat too much and there's not a lot left and I'm tempted to eat it, but I am full. So I'll be right back. Okay. Hello, Chad. What are we thinking? Also, if you guys want to see any funny uh, expression for emotes with a certain character, feel free to leave it in uh, to just comment it. I've thought of a few. But, you know, I can always use the inspiration or the suggestion. Hello? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so um, Verity says, I'll see a message and, huh? No, you're brown. Uh, I, we need a crying emo. <laughs> Daki. <laughs> Daki crying when no fairy booty. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, where did it go? Verity says, uh, I'll, I'll see a message and think, ooh, I'll respond to that in just a minute. And suddenly ages have passed and I'm racked with guilt. Yeah, I've, I've done that before. Um, and what I usually uh, try to do when it comes to like, oh, hold on. Let me, let me hit skip ad because there's an ad that's about to pop up and I don't want that to happen in the middle of my advice. Um, so what I try to do because I recognize that I've done that before, especially if I'm tired, uh, is... I don't read the message until I know I have time to respond to it. Uh, because in that case, there is a little notification that shows that I have a message to respond to. So like, you know, on Discord, it'll have little little red, you know, like one on it for, for a DM. Um, as long as I see that little red one, I know that I need to respond to somebody. Uh, I just won't read it until I know that I can actually say something back. Oh, Brown says, God, this has made me think back to the year that I got panic attacks from message notifications and friends couldn't get in touch with me for weeks. Not fun. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds like it Ooh. sucked. The world would be supreme if Callan rolled it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> True. KH says, 90% of my friends live on completely opposite sides of the world, so I've been, uh, I've never been opposed to waiting. Yeah.
No, Brown still got an ad. I turned it off. No. I don't know if anyone heard my advice then. Uh, but yeah. I also, um, I have an auditory thing, um, where I can't handle repetitive noises very well. Um, I can handle repetitive music if it's music that I like. Um, but if it's something that my brain just perceives as noise, uh, and it's repetitive, and especially if I have no control over it, uh, I get very angry. Um, and so my phone is on silent at all times, unless I am outright expecting a very important call. Um, my Discord is on, like, do not disturb, uh, because I can't handle the little, I don't even remember what Discord's notification noise sounds like, but if, if I have somebody messaging me and they send me, like, five messages and I just hear over and over again, I want to throw my phone or my computer. I hate it. <laughs> um cannot stand it so uh I, I love that meme of you know uh people who who sleep with their phone on uh silent don't care about anybody my phone is always on silent <laughs> Callan, i'm gonna skip this ad youtube you hate the boss of me reed is controlling the ads without you knowing yep i hit the skip ad button are you sure yeah Uh, Bimbo says, I can definitely relate, Cal, and that's why I often have my notifications off. Yeah, I actually entirely rely on, uh, the little red markers on the Discord, uh, on the bottom of the screen. So when it's got the little, the circle with a dot in the middle, I know that I have a message in a server. And when it has a number, I know that I have a DM. And so I rely on those to know that someone has messaged me. And also I do very frequently check on my phone when I'm out of the house, you know, not to ignore anyone with me, but just to see if I have anything that I need to respond to later. Ah, oh, Fran says, I also have the notifications off because my anxiety can't handle it. I also, uh, so here's the thing too. I don't keep the phone itself like on, uh, on silent, but with notifications because then it vibrates. I also can't stand the feeling of the vibrations in my pocket. If I'm walking around and I'm doing something and I'm suddenly getting a shit ton of vibrations in my pocket, again, I want to throw the phone. <laughs> I don't like that sensation on my leg. Especially not on the left side because that hurts. Oh, uh, bye, Snow Fox. Bye, Snow Fox. Yeah, uh, that's happened to me a couple of times, KH, missing an important phone call. That's why I, I specifically try to make sure I know when they're going to call, and I will not turn on the notifications until, like, that day, basically. Like, if I know that they're supposed to call me on a specific day, I'll turn it on long enough to get the call, and then I will turn it off again. Bimbo says, I turned the vibration off too, actually. It's always annoyed me. Yeah. I don't like it.
Oh, God. Snoozy says, then there's my phone that makes a vibration for every letter I type. Oh, I also had to turn off the, oh, yeah. uh, oh, the, the, the sound for that because I have an iPhone and it does a little, like, popping noise. Like, a little, it does, it does a little clicky sound effect for every letter that you hit. Oh, I hate it. Oh, Snoozy says, something that I, I physically cannot tolerate is also small, repetitive, blinking lights that I cannot get rid of. It's so specific, but I get so agitated. No, I get it. I get it. And Bibo says, hey, I turned that off too. True. Yeah, that's the thing. School and work also got a lot of us in the habit of keeping our phones on silent. Like, I, I had to keep it on silent while I was at work, too, and then I realized I really just liked having it on silent. So, uh, and I also didn't want to run the risk of forgetting to turn it on to silent when I was at work, so I just kept it on silent all the time. Oh my god, he's perfect! I love <laughs> him! Okay, but what if the fairy one is it like a kissy smoochy face? <laughs> Mooch. Oh uh, no, Verity says I'm the other way around. I need the feedback from my typing. I get so thrown off be uh, balance if I don't hear the clickety clacks. No, I cannot. Oh no, okay, so I uh, a while back, I gave Corv uh, the old gaming computer that I used to do streams on, and b back then it was called Big Daddy, because it, it's big, uh, and so he has renamed it, because it is his computer, and he has named it Good Boy. But why? Because <laughs> the logo apparently looks like a dog's face. But why? <laughs> it went from Big Daddy to Good Boy. What happened? <laughs> and the daddy decided he didn't want to be a dom anymore. But why? Because. Verity says crying Taki right next to smiling Zabby feels like a perfect meme format. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> Zabby took something away. Also, I think at some point it would be great to do a uh, an emote of fairy with a, a crown on because she's the queen. She is queen bee. Yeah. <laughs> Susie just said, what? Real and valid, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sometimes you just get tired of doming. You need, you need a break. You need someone to take care of you. I like how you just stopped. <laughs> I was drinking water. <laughs> it was just funny timing. KH says kissy smoochy face but with evil lighting. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. Snoozy says that reminds me that I should probably retry drinking some water. Drink water, you thirsty bitch. Whoa, Kellen. <laughs> Snoozy knows I love her. Does she know? <laughs> So stay hydrated, kids. <laughs> S 
Susie says intense sobbing. I love you too, Cal. <laughs> We love and adore Snoozy in this household, and that's why Hex is gonna get her. Get her. Get her. <laughs> Verity says thirsty again, Snooze, and Snoozy goes, Oh, don't you even start, little Miss Kitty Kisser. Whoa. <laughs> Snoozy Good out throwing though. hands. <laughs> Oh uh, no. It's time for Simp Wars. KH, Just we get water wars. now. Oh my god, even in water in two days? Bro. <laughs> what? Molly says, I thought you said eat, not get. Eater. Huh. I mean, Hex would. Whoa, man. I didn't say anything. Snoozy says, why are you throwing hands? What? <laughs> Verity says, little Miss Kitty Kisser, excuse me, I'm being attacked. Snoozy is slandering me right now. <laughs> oh. On tonight's episode of Simple Wars. <laughs> Verity, Snoozy's not slandering you. Snoozy is just saying the truth. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I think Corv just went pee from the bathroom. <laughs> Squaw! Squaw! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do this to me? <laughs> hey, you did it to yourself. You, you, found, you found the video hilarious. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, it is. You're the one laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Mike join at a great time. <laughs> oh god, it hurts. Uh, hi, hello, Egg Lord. Egg. Mark, we gotta get Mike in another stream soon. We do. Uh. <laughs> Pure, purely Drake stream. Yes. Yes. Drake Lord Dump. I, 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 give, 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 give. You're gonna share your aid, your, your very short eight page essay that you <gasps> sent Mike of Drake's I, lore on stream. I, I can't do that because it would also give away the entire story. No, -uh, well, only yeah. share the important bits. Uh, I, I'll have to look up the eight pages of lore again and, um, <laughs> and, and cherry pick through it. Mike says, I was thinking that. Yes. Mike, uh, message me privately and tell me whenever you have free time and we will we will work with your schedule. Hell yeah. We'll, we'll do it on the next available day. You can do it. I miss having you in stream. You're fun as hell. <laughs> Egg. 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 Yeah. Egg. Oh. <laughs> Egg. 
egged on Uwu. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> Ernie says, just so long as Mike remembers to close Discord when he leaves the call this time. <laughs> <laughs> Mike said, I enjoy chatting and BSing with you fine folks. It's been a minute. Anytime, Mike. We love chatting with Anytime. you. Anytime. Okay, maybe that expression is not what I had in mind. Oh? Uh, don't worry about it. Oh? Don't worry about it. What? Don't worry about it. What? Don't worry about it. What are you thinking about with her? Nothing. I tried to do a funny expression and it turned out uh, like something else. Don't worry about it. it. Turned out like what? Don't worry about it. I'm telling you not to worry about it, bro. <laughs> Bimbo says, we all miss you, Mike. We do. Mike says, I will close Discord when I'm damn good and ready five years <laughs> later. Hero. <laughs> <laughs> Mike just leaving his body again. That was fantastic, though. The, the drawings that came out of that, oh, I loved it. In fact, before I forget literally anything, I'm going to message Mike myself and be like, Time! Date! Give! There we go. <laughs> Mike says, oh, it was golden. Matt Snoozy and Verity are going at it in the chat. Oh my god, they fighting. <laughs> she goes, would you? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Bimbo said I'm getting the spray bottle because they're still fighting. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Did you, did you said let's see? Let's see. Okay, I thought, I thought for some reason you just went leshy. Leshy. <laughs> Gina, uh, not mm. not tomorrow. Next Tuesday at 5 p.m. my time, so an hour later than usual. We're streaming with Mike. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Tappity tap. Yeah. Mike gets to hear me typing. I, actually, have you ever heard me typing before? I don't remember. I love Mike's way of typing. He just says, so it is written, so it is done. <laughs> cool. We have a stream date. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will schedule that a little later, because we got to figure out what kind of thumbnail we're possibly doing. Or I could I could literally do it right now. Nah, because I'll have to type. I'll do it later. It's fine. I pinned it. I won't forget, I promise. Mike says, unsure. Or, or will you? I won't forget. It's Drake. <laughs> I would never forget Drake. I'm gonna scream when those pillowcases come in. 
Yeah, Mike's his party, people! Yeah! I have suddenly forgotten how to draw hands. Oh, Never no! Mind. It happens. No, leave the hearts as we're cute! I will. I want to change them, bro. Well, let me cook. Okay. Cook, cook, cook. Drink. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I don't... I don't think... Mike, have I have I told you about the body pillowcase that G Knight designed for me? Have I, you even shown him? I... I I don't think so. I think I've been too afraid to show him. <laughs> <laughs> I've been too nervous. Hey, you know this character that you voice like this thing Come I on, have. bro. He, he is, <laughs> he's the voice actor. He deserves to know the existence of this. I know. Yes, okay, cool. Okay, I have told him about it, yeah. But have you shown him? I don't know. I don't think so. Mike, has she shown you the design? He hasn't seen- oh my god. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have discussed it. <laughs> One side is safe for work, the other side is not safe for work, so... I don't know. <laughs> I'll show you the safe for work side and then you can- you can tell me if you want to see the not safe for work side or not. I'm nervous. Lou says, gosh, I don't think I've been so violent, so hostile before. I sincerely apologize for my squabbling parody. <laughs> oh my god. That's right, you did! Mike mentioned putting a Build-A-Bear voice inside of it. <laughs> oh god! Uh. That's right, I remember that! That was when we were talking about getting the full-sized one, which I unfortunately could not get, so it's gonna be little. Mike, I looked for it. I looked for an eight foot long body pillow. I was willing to go for it. Oh my god. Ugh. What? I'm nervous. <laughs> I've never said this kind of shit to Mike before. Here. Mike says now I'm curious. Before I am before I regret. <laughs> I already regret. <laughs> <laughs> Oop. Oop. Uh, but yeah, no, that was that was the stream where I was talking about getting the eight foot long version of it, but I couldn't find uh, I couldn't find a company that would do it. They're all cowards. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, what does that response mean? I don't know. It's just, oh my god. <laughs> uh, You've traumatized Mike. Oh my, I've traumatized myself. <laughs> <laughs> Reacted with the rock on metal hand. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, screaming. Complicated feelings. <laughs> Please tell me I didn't traumatize you away from the character. <laughs> Oh my god. What do you mean, Verity? You've been here the whole time. Simping over the cat. Over the fucking cat. Oh my god, Mike! <laughs> oh. Yo! Um, so... Fun, fun fact for you, Mike. Hold on, let me take a screenshot. Kyla, you're getting too far from the mic. Ah. Uh, um. So, uh, Mike, talking about wallpapers. <laughs> there you go. Kyla, the mic, you're going too far away. I'm not far. I'm, I'm literally right next to it. You sound lower. I'm not. I'm here. Before, before he drank, is really scary. <laughs> 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 <After> well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh my lord! <laughs> He's just laughing at me now because it's my background. 
<laughs> oh, God. I can't help it. He's my favorite character ever, okay? Uh, well, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> no, Marty. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm learning a lot about my boss today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's the thing. I think, honestly, the, the only... Uh, people who've seen it outside of you and me um is now mike uh and then reed and corv and that's it i haven't shown it to anybody else <laughs> it's snoozy saw a peek uh a peek at it by True. accident yeah when i when i was drawing her uh, the thing yeah i scrolled past my canvas and it was like was that a drink body <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm-hmm so what you think, Mike? <laughs> the backup <laughs> dongle is super surprising. <laughs> he's a lizard. He's a lizard. Do, do you guys not know lizard anatomy? <laughs> Reptiles are very fun. <laughs> they have a goofy anatomy. <laughs> From the singular glimpse I snagged, it seemed banging. Nice says, now I do. <laughs> now I do. <laughs> he got you. Okay. He got it. We've talked about this before. We've talked about this. <laughs> said I learned something today, and it was terrifying. Oh my lord. <laughs> uh, <laughs> See, from the singular glimpse I snagged, it seemed banging. Oh god. <laughs> it's fine. He and Sunny perfectly fit together. He got two, Sunny got two holes. Exactly. <laughs> I've explained fit like a glove. anatomy before. I've talked about it. I don't have, I don't have to talk about it again. Mm. So anyways, guys, dragon anatomy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not doing oh, that to chat today. God. Oh. <laughs> Bimbo just all oh, eye emoji. <laughs> I was not expecting to expose this to Mike at the, today. I'm dying a little bit. <laughs> they fit together quite literally. <laughs> This isn't even the exactly. 18 plus stream, my god, yeah! Yeah, just imagine what shenanigans will happen in the 18 plus live we're Smash gonna be doing. Smash stream, yeah. Yeah. Also, I haven't fully looked over the list yet. <laughs> no, uh, Nova did, in fact, put Drake on the list. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. Well, he says, why would it need to be in the 18 plus stream? This is simply anatomy. Yeah, it's simply animal anatomy. There's already a lot of videos out there. We can, we can talk about anatomy. No, we're not talking about dragon dicks right now. Whoa, well, that, you, you said it, not me. <laughs> Oh, God. No, Verity! No! Mike! <laughs> 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 he said, I feel like I'm really overprepared for this role now. You, yeah? <laughs> so, so, Listen, Mike, you, got, you gotta get to know the character thoroughly <laughs> to play it. God! <laughs> so, here's the thing. And this is a thing that, like, apparently not a lot of people do, and I didn't realize not a lot of people do. I very 
very extensively overthink. I know Drake is G-Knight, but it, I still think about him a lot. I overthink my characters. Like, a lot. Uh, even to the point where, um, I won't get into details, because again, we're not in an 18 plus stream right now. Um, I went into the psychology of why certain characters have the kinks they have. I think through everything. So... I've done a lot of thinking about these things, and, and that, that relates to everything about a character, not just the not safe for work stuff. I, I think about, oh my god, here he <laughs> says, talk about knowing the character inside and out, am I right? Look, if, you're, if you don't know how your character is going to react to anything at any given point in time, then, you know, do you, don't, do you really know your character? Turn back up, down, inside, out, all four, four, go <laughs> It's all about his horns, Mike. No. I'm not gonna say it. Whoa. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not doing it. Anyway, these look great, G9. Thank you. These look fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. My favorite is Taki. No. <laughs> oh god, I almost unplugged my headphones. Where the fuck's my cord? Gah. He's beautiful. I love him. The short king. <laughs> Mike just XD face. <laughs> Mike is just chilling along for the ride. Yeah. So, so here's the thing, too. I feel like me overthinking the characters in general um, comes from role-playing with them on, like, Tumblr and, uh, way back in the olden days on MySpace. Um, because I used to role-play on MySpace. Um, cause... <laughs> Shoozy. <laughs> uh, I sure do. Um, but yeah, I had to get used to going back and forth relatively quickly with people because, you know, they would shoot a role-play response and I'd read it and I would, <clears throat> I would have to figure out how my character would react to a situation. And roleplay definitely helps you with learning writing skills, for sure. Um, because you you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes with a partner, you'll uh, you'll plan out things that are going to happen in the roleplay. You'll have specific like plot points that you, you want to cover. But it still is up to the characters to kind of decide where everything's going. And I am able to very, very quickly do that with my characters because I, I think through what they're like. I don't like throwing a completely blank character at someone usually. I've still thought things through. Uh, oh god, I remember uh, <laughs> I designed a character in order to uh, you know, interact with one of uh, Reed's characters actually, and he was gobsmacked because within like two hours I had come up with more lore for the character that I had designed than he had come up with for his own in the year and a half of him having this character. And it's because I sit there and I just think it through the whole time. Uh, and I just, I, I, I build on them and I build and I build. Uh, and that's just, that's just what I do. And I don't, I don't even really think about it. I just do it. And then people are like, how the fuck did you do that? I'm like, oh. Mike says, I mean, the more you flesh them out, uh, the more real you make it. That's true. That's very true. I like the characters to feel like they're people that you could actually talk to. Like, I, I like them to feel real like that. Because if they're just like a hollow shell, then there's nothing to get attached to. Yep. And that's also another thing that roleplay is good for, too, is if you have some ideas, but you don't... Uh, you don't have them totally worked out yet, roleplay can sometimes help you do that. Like, we did that with Willow. Mm -hmm. Like, I had ideas for Willow, and I still keep building on those ideas. Like, I, I don't consider Willow done yet, by any by any means, but uh, Willow has also been built a lot through the roleplay. Or just, just talking about Willow with Aspen. Why don't iPhones have headphone ports? Uh, technically, the area where you put your charger in is also the headphone port. Uh, so what uh, would be a good idea, Molly, is for you to invest in a dongle 
uh, which is a, that, that is what it's called. <laughs> Don't at me. Um, it's a little piece that plugs into there, and then it also has a plug that you can put a normal headphone jack into. I have a dongle. It's in my car for my uh, aux cord so I can play music in my car. I have a dongle, Kali 2024. I actually have two dongles. <laughs> like, right? <Drake? laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one. I did. I have a dongle in my car, and then I have a dongle in my room. I have two dongles. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can find it real quick, actually. Like, I've heard enough about dongles today, honestly. <laughs> no, well, let me post it. Okay, I tried. Appropriate that it's in your room. Just stop. <laughs> They're fucking jumping you. They are jumping me. Bless you. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Bless you. And what? what the fuck was that? Thank you, it's Stitch Voice. Oh. I didn't sound like a thank you. All I heard was, ow. Oh. Uh -huh. That's what it sounded like. Okay. Uh. Mike, it's not my fault. You can't blame me. It's It's not. It's not my fault. I think it is. It's not. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything. We said it's nothing. Your fault. It's gone now. <laughs> Should I even mention what's on my fridge? Oh, I don't know. It's your turn to get jumped, Cal. Now the shoe is on the other table. No. <laughs> uh, bye, Mike. We'll see you bye, next Mike. Tuesday. I think we scared him off. <laughs> <laughs> Watch him message me in 10 minutes being like, I'm canceling Tuesday. Extreme. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> what? Susie said, "Please, please, 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 please. We want to know. What do you mean? What do you? What do you want to know?" The bridge. Oh. Um. How did you forget already? I forgot. I was too busy thinking about my cake. <laughs> <Bueno. laughs> I'm worried. Bye, Mike. See you soon. Bye, Mike. Oh, good. Holy shit. Frown put a whole bunch of characters in for for uh, the Smasher Pass. Oh. Louis. Yeah. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, some of my beloveds are in here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You did good, Frown. You did good. You did good. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a few in there that I'm just like, mm. I only know one character from that list. Well, two. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Verity says, see you next Tuesday. Cal, be polite to the man. There's no way to talk to What do you mean? <laughs> How? What? What did I do? Ah, Frown said that's why I haven't been typing in the stream chat. We appreciate you, Frown. I've been begging people to put stuff in there, so thank you. Oh, yeah. Come on, everyone, join in. Put oh, characters in there. Do it. Also, Mike just said, Drek stream. <laughs> Drek. Drek stream.
Como está aquí. El FM. Wait, what? Mm. Verity, you go type that to me right now. I need to know what the hell you're talking about. Uh oh. What? <laughs> I am anxious now. I don't think you want to know, but okay, tell me. I do want to know. I did not know that actually. Oh, that's actually kind of cool to learn. Here, let me also screenshot that for G Knight for context. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Oh, you okay? You're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> so silly over there. Do it, KH. I fucking dare you. Do it. Professor Shush educates again in the absolutely most heinous way. <laughs> oh, Snoozy doesn't know. Snoozy doesn't know. Oh, no. You're good, Verity. I actually just sent it to Snoozy myself so that Snoozy knows. <laughs> <laughs> Snoozy is so innocent, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not true. I know who she is. <laughs> I know what you are. Screenshotting this for you. <laughs> 
next news it says I am considered innocent. <laughs> yeah, even me. even she even even she knows. Mm -hmm. Cage says, "Oh no, the power of dare is too strong." I, I Cage, I double dog dare you. Now you have to do it. Uh oh. says crap I've been double dared Susie says I triple dog dare you quadruple dog dare you So many ads. Cage is a big bully. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's it. I'm out of juice. You good, you good. Alrighty, everybody. Thanks for coming. We appreciate you all for being here. Oh my god, guys. Thank oh you so much. Yeah. Alright. Oh. oh. You must end uh -huh. trip now. Yeah. Alright, guys. We'll see y'all next time. We'll probably see you before Tuesday. Uh... We'll figure it out. We'll probably we'll, we'll probably smash do your PS. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye.